Hello, sports fans and football fans. I got my Bears gear on. So you know this video is probably something to do with football. And if you know me and you've been following my channel for the last three years, we've been around for three years now, you know that I do my football picks every year. And you also know that we have NFL football coming up this week. Like I the wrong week to quit drinking. Starting on Thursday, and then also some games on Sunday and some games on Monday. And this is a Tuesday, and I will always endeavor to put my picks up on Tuesday so that it's well in advance of the Thursday game and so that you guys know that you have my picks and so you can take them to Vegas. I mean, that's actually what you would want to do. So, um, I am, I have a total right now coming into the year of 474 games picked right and 304 wrong, which is a total of 60.9% games correct. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Almost 61%. I'm not trying to sit here and tell you that 61% is good. There are people that are better than that. And then there are people that are worse than that. However, if you're worse than that, you know, you're probably only doing a little better than a monkey. So, um, with that having been said, we're going to get into the picks. We have three revenge, no, two. We have two revenge games this week. Um, and I will get to those when I get to them. When I, when I come to them, I will let you know what they are. So that, well, with that, let's get back into, let's get into the, the picks. And that starts with the Thursday game. And the Thursday game is going to be the Bills at the Rams. And who am I going to pick in this one? Also, I want to preface this by saying this is week one. We haven't seen any of these teams play, these new versions of the teams play yet. So by and large, I'm going to pick the home team. And so in this particular game, that means that I am going with the Rams. Go with the Rams. We're going to take the Bills out of the scene. And the Rams. I am going to pick the Rams to win because they are at home against the Bills on Thursday night. That brings us to the, sun, the start of the Sunday games. And this is going to be the Eagles at the Lions. And I said the Lions are home. And I think the Lions are going to be a lot better this year than people give them credit for. Or people think they're going to be. And I really wasn't that impressed with the Eagles last year overall. So let's go with the Lions. Pick the Lions to win that game. I'm going with the Lions over the Eagles in that second game. Now here's a game that's after my own heart. The 49ers and the Bears. And the Bears are at home in Chicago. So I'm going to do something that I almost never do. And that is, I'm going to pick the 49ers to lose. <laughs> yeah, go with the Bears. I'm going to go with the Bears at home. I think the 49ers, um, you know, they've got Trey, on a realistic note, okay, serious note here. They're going to start Trey Lance. All indications from the preseason are that Trey Lance is really not ready for prime time. Uh, but the rest of the 49ers, I understand, the rest of the 49ers team is generally a little better than the Bears. But, hey, the Bears are at home. Trey Lance is, you know, still getting his footing. So let's go with the Bears. I think. The next game you've got is the Steelers at the Bengals. And I, in this game, am definitely going to go with the Bengals. Go with the Bengalis on this one. Uh, the Steelers, I think, are going to be better than people are giving them credit for. Um, 
I think they have the potential to be a pretty good team this year. Um, and Trubisky, you know, I'm a big Trubisky fan. I think he's pretty good. I expect him to start uh, over Pickett. Is that his name? Pickett? Kenny Pickett? I don't know. But uh, if it is, he needs to change his name because that's not a good name for a quarterback. But anyway, I think um, Trubisky is probably going to start for the Steelers. But um, that's not why I'm picking him to lose to the Bengals. The Bengals were in the Super Bowl last year, you might have remembered. So, yeah, take the Bengals in that one. Now we've got the uh, Patriots at the Dolphins. If you know the history of these two teams, you know that the Patriots... Oh, wrong one. I threw the Dolphins away. All right, anyway, I'm going with the Dolphins because the Patriots never win in um, in Miami. They have a tough time winning in Miami, and I think Miami's a little better than people are, again, going to give them credit for. Um, so, again, even though I threw the Patriots helm or the uh, Dolphins helmet away, we are going with the Dolphins in that one. Dolphins over Patriots. The next one you got now. This is the re, this is one of the revenge games. You have the uh, Browns and the Panthers, and I call it a revenge game because Baker Mayfield, who I, I am no big fan of, I really hate the guy, is on the Panthers because he was traded to the Panthers by the Browns to just get him out off the roster and out of town. So. Um, in this game, I am going to go with the Browns. Pick the Browns because I hate Baker Mayfield. And um, even though the Browns are on the road, I'm still going to go with the Browns in that one because I really want to see Baker Mayfield lose like it's nobody's business. And now you've got the... Um, let's see, what's the next one? Where are we here? you got the Colts at the Texans. Colts, Texans, and the Texans are at home, but I'm not that crazy. I'm going to go with the Colts. Take the Colts to win this one. So, yeah, we're going to take the Colts to beat the Texans. I don't think that they're quite prime time yet. I think Davis Mills um, is probably, uh, you know, I mean, he's a good young quarterback, But the Colts have uh, Matt Ryan now. And Matt Ryan is, I don't think he's going to let that team down because really the team around him is really good. Now you've got a divisional matchup, the uh, which actually that last one was. But this is the uh, Saints at the Falcons. And I am going to go with... The Falcons in this one. Let's go with the Falcons. The Saints don't have Breeze anymore. And I know that the Falcons are going with um, Mariota as their quarterback. I, I don't know if that's really the best idea. But they're at home. The Saints aren't really the Saints of the past, especially without Breeze. So I'm going to go with the Falcons Next one you got is the Jets and the Ravens. Uh, no. <laughs> we're going to go with the Ravens in this one. Definitely we're going with the Ravens. I think the Jets are going to be better than they've been in the past. Although, really, that would almost have to happen. But, yeah, I think the Jets will be better than they've been in the past years. But they're not going to beat, let's be reasonable, they're not going to beat the Ravens. The next one you got is going to be the Jags at the Commanders. And the Commanders are the home team in this one. And the Jags, well, I mean, do I need to say any more? We're going to go with the Commanders. Go with the Commanders in this one. And this is, uh, you know, my old Redskins helmet. Sorry about that. I mean, I wasn't able to get a commander's helmet. And uh, I got a limited budget. So, anyway, um, yeah, go with the commanders in that one. They're the home team. Next one we have is the pack at the Vikes. And the Vikings are at home. 
And the Packers, I mean, if you saw the controversy with uh, Aaron Rodgers throwing some of his young receivers under the bus, yeah, you know that um, maybe there's a little disarray in Green Bay. I would love to see that. And so with the Vikings at home and also being a pretty good team, I'm going to say let's go with the Vikings over the Packers. And as a Bears fan, I hate the Packers anyway. I should hate the Vikings as much, but not really. I don't. Next one we've got is uh, the, let's see, what do we got here? Giants at the Titans. Yeah. Um, (laughs) The Giants are not only on the road, but the Titans were a playoff team last year. So I'm definitely going to go with the Titans in this one. Take the Titans, take the points, take the Titans and run with it. Until the Giants show that they uh, are actually a a decent football team, which they haven't done yet. The next one you've got, another divisional matchup. Okay, really a lot of these are divisional matchups. Anyway, um, you have the um, Raiders at the Chargers. Now, you remember that this was the last game of the year last year, which determined some playoff spots, much to the chagrin of the Chargers who could have either won or tied the game and gone to the playoffs. But if they had lost, they were going to not go to the playoffs, and the Raiders were, and that's what happened. The Raiders went to the playoffs. I think I remember that correctly. So anyway, but the Raiders are on the road. The Chargers are a good team. Staley is a good coach when he's not going 100% with analytics, and let's hope he's learned a lesson from that. And we are going to go with the Chargers over the Raiders. Take the Chargers, take the points, take the Chargers. Okay, we got two games left, not four, two. And uh, we have the uh, the last game of Sunday is going to be the, uh, or no, we got, no, we got three games left. Three games. Sorry, my bad. We have the uh, Chiefs at the Cardinals. Now, the Chiefs are on the road versus the Cardinals, but yeah, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Let's take the Chiefs over the Cardinals. If you saw the Cardinals in that last playoff game last year, you know they were horrible. However, the Cardinals do have a tendency to get off to a good start and then collapse in the second half of the year, but it's going to be tough to get off to a good start against Mahomes and the Chiefs. The last game of Sunday is going to be the Bucks and the Cowboys. This is one a lot of people are waiting for. This is this is a good game. Um, and, uh, you know, I hesitate to say this, but with the Cowboys being at home, I am taking the Cowboys. I'm taking the Cowboys over Tom Brady and the Bucks. Brady, you know, he missed some of uh, uh, training camp with a, an undisclosed thing that was going on with him and he just wanted to be away from the team for a while. That might cost him. Plus, Dallas is supposedly a good team, but they're a good team that hasn't lived up to their potential, but I think at home, in the opener, against the Bucks, they're going to rise to the occasion and they're going to win this game. That brings us to the Monday night game, and this is the second revenge game. You have the Broncos at Seattle. Broncos at Seattle. And this is a revenge game because Russell Wilson is now on the Broncos. He is no longer on Seattle. And even though Seattle is at home, I'm going to go with the Broncos. Let's go with the Broncos and Russell Wilson to beat his old team. I know that the, you know, Seattle likes to say they got the 12th man. Well, you can have the 12th, the 15th, and the 86th man. You're not going to beat the Broncos. So let's take the Broncos on the road over Seattle. And uh, those are my picks. What do you guys think? You like them? You think I'm off base? Let me know what games you agree with me on. Let me know what games you differ with me on. Let me know, I mean, one of the two, whichever is the shorter or the shorter list. Um, but that's what I got for you, and that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm signing off.